YouTube, what it do? Promised you guys when that radio came in, I was going to give y'all a breakdown on how to get your radio system in and out. Again, just in case you got a jam CD, might be an electrical wire or something that might be loose. So I'm going to just go in here and show you guys how to take your whole face plate, bezel, everything off, you know, remove the gear shift and everything. And we're going to do this without breaking any tabs or damaging any plastic. Because what? All you need is a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver. And that's about it to get the job done. So I keep y'all in the loop. I'm going to run y'all through this right quick. Again, I already got my radio installed. Um, I just want to give y'all a quick breakdown on how to do the damn thing. You know what I mean? All right. So the mayhem begins. Flathead, Phillips head. Let's get it. So first and foremost, take your time. Take your time. All this whole middle radio, council, bezel, faceplate, everything, all this shit is plastic. Let's establish that first. So with that being said, being rough and just tackling it from the wrong angle, you could really probably damage the plastic, fuck something up, part of my French, or you know, pull a wire out or something. So this is where you really need to take your time. And for starters, when we're doing this, the first thing we want to remove, gear shift. Well, gear shift handle. So mine, right off. And then now this is what you're going to need to do, right? Grab my keys. Going to need to do, right? You're gonna start the car, brake it, change gear, e-brake. And now what this is gonna allow you to do, and again, once you've done that, e-brake is secure. E-brake is secure. We're gonna turn the car off. So now the reason we need to move the gear shift is because when you're ready to take the gear shift plate off, the, uh, the handle would actually impede the progress of removing the plate so gotta shift that back like that or if you don't want to do it you can also remove this little knob right here use a flathead i mean the phillips and you would just press down on here and change the gear i mean it's all the same thing no biggie but now again all you really need is the flathead for prying but i mean once you get this bottom plate out the gear shift plate everything else kind of falls into place get this beeping out shot here take this plate off so right here right here is perfect flathead twist boom come right out no biggie but now let's be gentle it's again it's a pull and pry pull and pry be gentle be delicate so what I like to do is remove it like so, right? Make sure we got that all the way up. Then we're just gonna move it out the way to the left, depending on what connections you have. Connections I have allow me to move it over like so. And then here, here's the shit kicker. Press this little green knob. This is kind of like the shift uh, the manual shift when you remove that little silver cap, this is what you're actually pressing down on. So, all right, back to the shit at hand. So now we got the gear shift off, right? Our main thing that we want to get to now, what we want to do is you can definitely clean this out. Again, just check all the wiring. You can also disconnect these two wires if you, if you really need more space, and that's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, uh, with this one slightly, real simple, push tab right here, push it in, pull it out. Same thing right here, you see the push tab here, push it in, I'm gonna pull it out, and that's gonna remove the harness. There we go. So now, gear shift. Uh, gear shift plate is out the way. Now, here's where your Phillips comes into play. You got 
one, two screws at the bottom of the center council bezel. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove these two screws. Okay, Phillips head screwdriver. Now my main thing too is I like to drop the screws kind of in order of where I'm taking them out from just so I'm putting the exact same screws right back where I got it from. I'm not worrying about, you know, using the wrong screw, misthreading, anything like that. So that's definitely keep this over here. I took this out the right. I took that out the left. So I'll keep that like so. Now we're gonna put the Phillips, come right back to the flat. Now it's, 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 it's a pry tactic. Really nothing I like to get right down here in the corner, right here on the bottom. And you see that? Once you get down here on the bottom, it's a pry factor. That's all it is. And once I'm able to pry it up a little bit to get my fingers, you can actually run your finger up a little bit and pry. You could come to the other side, run your hand up a little bit because the tabs are right here at the top of the faceplate be uh, bezel and pry. That comes right off. But now guys, once you remove uh the control cluster for your ac and heat and everything once you remove this bezel with the cd tape player you have to be very careful pulling it because again see that band wire right there that is what sends these controls here to your monitor so the last thing you want to do is pull and tug and you know accidentally pull this ribbon wire out so we're gonna do very gently again see the push tab right here up top you see it right here and finger press pull that's simple now this comes right out but that's another thing too you got the e-brake on we're gonna have to just leave this just leave that back Leaving your gear shift back would allow you to remove this very easy. Put it right to the side. And boom, we're getting in there. So clearly you can tell my old radio was removed because definitely I have a few screws missing. Um, when I came in here the first time, I definitely noticed that shit was a little disheveled everything wasn't looking too crisp too clean so um that's what it is there uh let's continue again it's another screw here screw here back to the phillips head That there, I'm gonna put the gold one all the way to the right. Let me know that that's the upper. Now, just to give y'all this really quick, uh, here's the shit kicker, right? With your top bezel unit that's connected to your vents, it's kind of like they have a hook on the back of them up here. So when you remove it, you don't pull it straight out. You grasp it right here in the middle. You can see exactly where my hands are, right here in the middle. And what you're gonna do is pull up. Not out, but up. Because what you wanna do is release this from the dashboard. But again, pulling out is gonna break the tabs up here that secures the navigation bezel into place. So what we're gonna do, hands here, pull up, up. As you see, I'm pulling up. But now, as you see as well, when you're ready to disconnect, there is one wire harness right here. No biggie. Let's get that out for you guys. And you can see it right here. Simple, again, another push tab. It's as about as simple as it gets with this stuff. So we're gonna hit the push tab. Let's see if I can't get that for you guys. connector pull now we've literally gotten 
everything out to give you access to your radio if need be uh, so now and the final removal for taking out your LED screen you know your navigation screen um, and to take out the radio um, here's where it's straightforward dead simple two screws up top two screws down bottom one two one down here one two and you remove these screws and once you remove those as y'all seen in my prior video the whole unit comes out so I just really wanted to get in here and show you guys how to really remove the whole unit um I mean, I showed you guys in the other video, like I said, I was just doing this for illustration purposes of what I was doing uh, when I just had to change my radio. Like I said, I changed the fuses. Um, it was a 20 amp. Uh, it still didn't work. So I'm like, you know, the amp is perfectly fine and it's not working. So it had to be a short of something. No biggie. New radio on deck. And um, yeah, team, you know, everything is straightforward, baby. You know, don't let them gas you or anything like that, trying to overcharge you, you know, about taking out your radio and how difficult it's going to be. This shit is so simple. It kind of blew my mind once I really did the research to figure out how to do it. So this is how you really take your gear shift, uh, radio and control bezel and your navigation bezel off. So now this gives you access to your navigation screen and your radio. So, so now once you got the screws here, 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 and here by the monitor, now the whole system, if you grab it right, right here and pull straight forward, but you have to lift up and pull forward because you'll see these notches right here. Like there's a niche here guys can see that a little niche here then you have a little niche here that's specifically to move it out for these metal plates right here on the side to come through like so let me just show you guys see how it has the line up on that for it to come out it's not just gonna come out so once you get it through that slot your radio and your navigation is out, baby. You know what I mean? We are out. This shit is out. Like I said, I'm just really doing this for demonstration purposes just to let you guys see. Like, look, shit is not that hard. It can be done. If you're literally just changing the radio and you need to take your radio out for repair, anything like I said, jam CD, jam tape, um, you know, the system just doesn't work. It would be the best probably to behoove you to dead ass, man just uh just do it like that it's that simple team so just wanted to keep you on the loop with that you know like share comment subscribe your boy og keep you guys in the loop your boy sir v aka that og stay tuned baby next video probably coming soon i'm gonna give y'all a full run through of them demon eyes and show y'all every feature tonight oh yeah baby Oh yeah, stay tuned.